Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, so, I'm bringing you guys in. I was going to try to get this taken care of between episodes, but, as luck would have it, this is the third time I've done this. <sighs> yeah, so I'm trying to, uh, fix this, uh, uh and do this right. So this has been fun. All right, so I need to cut this off and move it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's meant to be here. So when it merges, it merges the piston onto there. So I got the solar panels moved over. So they're going to be in alignment with the other set. So yeah. So now we just drop this in here. Come on. That's it right there. Okay. So now we need to go in here. And I think it was 9.7. Let's check. Yeah, 9.7 meters maximum length. Reverse. Reverse. And no clang, no clang, no clang. All right. So now we just need to uh, come over here, put some heavy plate down. All right. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about is uh, you guys are want to see. Let's see, it's going to be F10. We're going to filter this to just workshop items. And the ship we are talking about should be this one. So, you want to look for it on the workshop, the blue and white one. I believe that's the one you were looking for, this guy here. What's this one? So yeah, everything that's in this scenario is on the workshop. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if you guys specifically want to find one item, then just let me know in the comments down below. And I'll do my best to try to find it inside my uh, blueprint menu. And let's see so you guys can find it on the workshop. Because, yeah. So yeah, it would be this right here. The AX-16 Expedition Vanilla. Uh, author is Artist X. So, yeah, it's a really cool ship. And then, uh, I think there's one of these in here. I'm a big fan of uh, JD Horks's builds. Um, let's see here. I think one of these. Without this, like this is a ship, and this is one of the bases. I think so. Um, I think there's a frigate in here. Um, couple of Kestrels. Hmm. Um, I was going to put one of these in. I don't know why I didn't. And then... Let's see here. Don't remember. Is this it? Yeah, I think this is the little blue one we see floating around. Um, 
I don't have many of them left because tried to focus on uh, collecting them. Huh. All right. Well, in any case, so, um, yeah, like I said, if you guys see something you like, let me know, and uh, I'll do what I can to, uh, to help you out. Okay, let's get this cleaned up. I was trying to see how long I wanted, if I made it longer, and yeah, no, I don't really want to make it longer. Okay, so here, isn't this where this goes? Oh, it does, but it doesn't have a block to hold it, right? That's what the problem is, right? No, this needs to be here. Yes. There we go. Okay, those are all heavy, right? Yeah. All right. So that's that. Let's go get you parked. It'll help a little bit. Come on, get in there. There we go. And there we go. Docked, turned on to charge, and ready to go. All right. So, got our door done. We have our solar panels been modified and uh, in better shape. So. Get copy and paste. That'll work. Okay, so now we control those from where we see fit. All right, so we're checking our battery situation. Nine hours till fully charged. Yes. Fantastic. Getting there. Almost there. Uh, we do need to move because there's hardly any resources left out of this. Um, we're looking for things that are on fire. Possibly more thrush components. Um... Let's go check this real quick. What do you got? Oh, there, there's some stuff up here, so. Hmm. There we go. This is where we're going. Okay. 
and home is where? Oh, this is the little blue ships we were just talking about, looking in the workshop. Yeah. Really? Oh, hey. The solar panels are throwing me off, but the beacon in the middle of it should give me some indication that we're going the right way, but, you know, hey. All right, we're going here. Oh, right on the edge of the amount of batteries we need. Look at that, 98%. Okay. Alright, we're gonna spin around. Let's turn our bulbs off for a second. Let's get on our camera. Okay. That should do. We're just gonna lower down into place. Unimus. Paint it. Um. Why? Oh, there it was. I clicked this box by mistake. Okay. So basically it applied the armor skin, not the paint. Okay, good. <sighs> Got me. I was concerned there for a minute. All right, so there we go. More, more parts and pieces. All right, we're gonna or don't forget, I think. Alright. I don't think about going to get that guy. Do you have running gear yet? Or landing gear? You do. Are you charged? You are charged. does not have an antenna though do we have small craft jump drives no all right this is bad because I'm gonna want to steam out there which means we could shoot right past it. All right, we're doing it. Or I'm gonna end up heading out there. Let's get up to about 50. There we go. And as soon as I get there, it's gonna disappear. I really hope that's not the case. Because I think this is the one we just figured out how to um, take it over correctly. Because if that's the case, then we'll be some quick grinding and uh, we'll have control of this bad boy. So I'm hoping for. All right, let's kick it up. Okay. 
out of ammo. So. We need to. Oh. Is this the one? It is the one. Alright, cool. RTCM Commercial Freighter. This is a Havoc LP Gaming and the Skiff coming up on your six. Requesting permission to dock. What's that? Permission denied. Let's get up in there. Okay, we are locked on for uh, dampening. now attached <laughs> and dampened all right so we're going this way it's over where is it where's that door at oh we're upside down relative wise okay so chair That's ours. So then it's over here. Okay, it's ours. We got it. Okay, we're on board. We got it. Uh, some more uranium, some platinum, some uranium and gold, okay. So a refinery, nope, does not have a refinery. Okay. Okay. Wait, where's our ship? Oh, oh my goodness, that scared me. I was like, no. We lost the little feller. All right, we need to go turn him off real quick. Inventory full. Um, okay. Wrong oh, button. And power down. Okay, so. Alright, let's head on back home. Well, that was an easy grab. Went pretty well. Uh, helps knowing where that remote control block is, that's for sure. They can, uh, they can hide pretty easily. Right. All right, so we're gonna get this back and this will also get turned into parts and pieces. Right. More thruster components to add to the mix. 
think we're going to do is we're going to wrap up today. And in tomorrow's episode, I want to start working on the front of hope. Start getting some of those body lines in place. So we can start getting the greebles figured out. And start making the progress in that direction. So today between episodes was a lot about getting things cleaned up. And going the direction we need to to go forward for the longer term. So... And this was about getting resources. So we definitely needed the resources. Well, we need the thruster components. Oh, we're coming in hot. Oh, no. This isn't good. Okay. We're slowing down, but I was kind of concerned there for a minute. Okay, remember, never aim at your target when you're flying in. So that way if you do overshoot, you're not hitting something important. All right, we'll bring it in. Get it docked. Paint it red. It's important to get these thrusters finished on Hope. Because those thrusters are going to be what keeps us out of trouble at times. Between that and the appropriate level of gyros, which more are coming. So you, there were comments in the last episode about more gyros needed. Agreed, there are more gyros needed. We'll have them here soon. Very soon. All right. I'm wondering how much of this I should leave as trash going forward. <laughs> how close are we going to get? Oh, yeah, not even close. We need to get close, but... And... Done. That'll do. <laughs> Alright. So let's get a little feller off. Get this thing painted red. And thank you guys for coming out and having fun with me on the channel and supporting the channel with the comments and thumbs ups that you are sharing don't forget to go over and check me out over on discord we have a pretty active community going on over there this is havoc have fun and keep gaming